you know, a lot of guys deep down want to be respected. I know I wanted to be respected in my marriage. It was very important to me. Sometimes I didn't feel comfortable talking about it because I was like, well, I don't want to look like I'm selfish and I just want, you know, be respected. But it was very important to me. And I've come to learn over the years, many years, and I work with hundreds of guys, is that it's not just like a need or a luxury. It's a critical need. Uh, it's a it's a vital need. It's something which is actually in the long-term interests of the wife as well. And some guys are uncomfortable with that. But at the end of the day, like if you're not respected, your opinions are not respected, your needs are not met, you're going to be frustrated. You're not going to have the desire to invest in the marriage and to be loving and to be giving. And it, it really robs you from your own ability to be loving, to put it very simply, very bluntly. It, you're basically sitting on your own fuel line, all right? And you don't have to be perfect in order to be respected. So some guys know, yeah, well, I, I screwed up in my marriage. I, I did a lot of things wrong. So I'll only be respected once I get everything right. There's a certain belief over there. Anyway, I'm just jumping in quickly. It's a very short video. Is like that, that's, not, that's incorrect. You don't have to be perfect to be respected. Respect, being respected is a vital need. And if you ignore it, it actually robs your ability to invest in your marriage.